Hi guys, we're gonna do a gorgeous food revolution recipe. Food revolution is my campaign to celebrate how cool it is to cook, uh, cook with your family, uh, how to live a longer, healthier, happier life. I picked 10 recipes that cover the broad spectrum that if you learn them, can pretty much sort you out for the rest of your life. And this is one of these recipes, crispy skinned salmon, cooked to perfection with homemade pesto, sprouting broccoli, lovely French beans, new potatoes, simple, humble food. If you wanna see any of the other recipes from the Food Revolution pack and the 10 recipes to save your life, click up there or look in the information box below. So look, let's see what we've got. I have here, come forth, uh, some new potatoes. The new potatoes I've been cooking for about 10 to 15 minutes, lovely French beans. These require about six minutes. Put those in, the lid will go back on top. We've got our salmon here. Uh, four lovely pieces of salmon. Season with just a little salt. I've got a nice non-stick pan. I've put that on full whack, and I'm gonna go into a cool pan, skin facing up. As that heats up, it's gonna render the natural fat out of the salmon. So that will start frying. Then we can turn it onto the skin side, and it will go super, super crispy. So it's gonna be crispy, delicious, and in the middle, flaky and juicy. So let's get on with the pesto. First up, half a clove of garlic. I will go in with a little bit of salt. I'll smash that to a paste. In a pesto, there's always nuts. Now, classically pine nuts, some people toast them off and you can lightly toast them. I prefer to leave them raw. You're gonna get a real creaminess from that. So that's about 20, 25 grams of pine nuts. Just bash that up, go in with the basil. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pick the lovely smaller leaves into some water. They'll freshen up and then we'll sprinkle that on top at the very end bash up this basil. Now, if you just look at the salmon over there, guys, you can see how the heat thus far has gone up about a centimetre. Overcooked fish is a real waste of money. It's not very nice. So just kind of getting your confidence up with those skills. That's why I put this dish in 10 Recipes to Save Your Life, because the principles of pan frying, cooking fish, making vegetables taste delicious, that's what we're after. So look, come down here. We're just going to turn that over. Notice there's lots of natural oils here now. And I can just turn the temperature down a little bit now. And I'll cook the fish all the way through on the skin side down. I'm going to go in sprouting broccoli. They only literally need a minute. With the pesto, once you've got it to a nice little paste, I'm going to go in with a tablespoon and a half extra virgin olive oil. I like to put just a tiny squeeze of lemon juice into this pesto. It's not classic. You can make it smooth or chunky. Have a little taste. Very nice. And then about 20 grams of Parmesan. And that balance of the lemon juice, Parmesan, basil, garlic is going to be amazing. So pesto is done. These veggies are cooked. If we cook the veggies in one pan, we're not making loads of washing up, and that's cool too. With the new potatoes, you can either squash them like that, or we can slice them up. While they're kind of steaming and hot, this is the perfect time to get your pesto in there. Just one spoonful is gonna completely transform this whole dish. Dress it, sprawl those wonderful greens all over the place those lovely new potatoes. The smell is phenomenal. Let's get the salmon on. See how juicy it is, that's what we want. Absolutely gorgeous. Those little basil leaves that we saved, put those in and around, a little squeeze of lemon. So there's one of the 10 recipes to save your life. Check out the others uh, in the link below. A lovely, simple, everyday dish that's delicious. Let's get in there. You're getting this incredible, crispy skin. Really, really good. Mm. And then the pesto, it just tastes totally different when you make it than when you buy it from a jar. It's just non-comparable. So there you go. Until next time, lots of love.